We're ready. I'm going to hand it over to Law, who's sitting by with Ishmael, the Vitality Performance Coach. Thank you, Medic and Ismail. Thank you so much for joining me after this crazy game. Uh, first question, how did you guys react to the end of the game? Well, it was crazy. Uh, I think the time stopped uh, just at the end. So yeah, it was very surprising, but I guess the guys uh, pulled it through. So yeah, yeah it's, it's always for the, for the fans, for the content. So I think it was good. Sending lots of strength to uh, Neo, because I know he's also backstage with the team and he can get stressed in this situation. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, he must be happy that you guys picked up this one. Um, let's talk about Vitality, because you replaced a player, as we often send during the week, benching self-made, Haru being brought in. Um, but this player has like tons of experience. He's a former world champion. He played in Latin America, in IRLs, now joining Vitality. Uh, tell me about your work with him and how did you make him part of the team? Because it must be hard switching players, one player, during the season like this. Yeah, for sure. I think you optimally would like to have your, your roster, your full roster, all year long and hopefully for many, many years to go to, to develop and to try to understand each other. In this case, we have Haru, and I think like he's an amazing guy. Like he's he, he speaks very well English. He understands as well, or he tries to understand our culture because we need to look at it into the cultural sense. And this is how we can integrate him. And I think like he is very open-minded. He is very willing to try new things. He's willing to accommodate himself, compromise himself, and his experience is amazing mm -hmm. as well. So. Slowly, slowly, he continued integrating with all the guys, and I think like everyone else in the team is trying to integrate him very well. Uh, so I think we have a good atmosphere, you know, like yeah. it is important for them to have fun, and this is what we are trying to push. Wow, amazing to hear. And how about the rest of the players? Because when we talked in spring, you told me about some concept that you were trying to implement, never forcing players, but just showing them that there's many things that you can have and that can improve performance. How has the work been so far? Yeah, I think it's uh, the basic idea is when you're forcing something that you are not, you really don't want to do it, you don't want to be, or you don't believe in it, what you end up doing is just the opposite effect. So it just has a negative aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And I have seen that a lot in esports for the last five years, trying to push for many, many different things. And that doesn't work. So this is what uh, I think like we are trying to understand the players. We reflect a lot what's working, what is not working, how we can help them to, to feel optimal, to feel good. So that's, that's what we are doing basically. And with Harris as well, the same thing. He has some experience. We try to learn from him and then we try to work on, the, on, on those bases. And I know that for you, it's not just about the players, but performance can come to any angle from a team. And you recently held an eSports coaching summit. Uh, you can, guys can find information on Twitter about that. It's really interesting. But basically about how you're going to implement some of the sports coaching techniques and how to help the coaching staff uh, provide a better environment from the player. How does that apply to Vitality? Yeah, I think definitely this, this was, let's say, a dream for me. Like I've been doing a lot of work, workshops for coaches or coach the coach with my previous teams, with my previous coaches, but never at the point to try to get them out of the comfort zone and try to give them tools to understand what are we doing, how are we coaching our players or how we as coaches are developing. So this is what uh, NEO and, and Team Vitality and, and the, the university, the, the German Sport University in Cologne provided us which uh, we brought a bunch of experts in uh, coaching in, in traditional sports and sports scientists and sports psychologists. And we created different sessions where we reflect how we are actually, what training methodology we have, how our interpersonal skills are influencing positively or negatively what we're trying to do on a day to day with, uh, with, with our team. And, bringing other strategies as well to optimize performance. Always amazing. Coaching the coaches, I love the approach. Ismail, yeah. thank you so much for the interview and amazing insights as thank always. You so much. And Shox, back to you for more on that game.